Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Tony G. That's my stage name. Uh, <clears throat> well, first, I need to say that iPhone cannot switch cameras while you're recording a video. I miss my Android. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm going to do this this way. Then I'm going to have to stop the video and do it the other way and then stop the video and then do it and put it back on myself and figure out how to put it all together so I can put it on YouTube. But anyway, let's get to the point. So the point of this video is to uh, I have a solution to keep your MacBook cool. So um, I've been scouring um, YouTube, like YouTube and all kind of places on the internet trying to figure out different ways to uh different ways to keep the macbook cool while i'm while i'm doing computer stuff so where i'm at right now i'm in my recording studio right now and uh it gets pretty warm in here so it gets warm in here and the fans are blurring at its maximum 500 rpm and, and you can just really hear it just rev up once once I'm mixing and mastering. So uh, I'm looking for solutions to keep the MacBook cool so it can stay quiet while I'm tracking and, and this, that, and the other. And, and also, uh, <clears throat> and, you know, just, just keep it cool. And I, and I found a solution. And I, and I found a solution um, that does not not does not require you to install third-party software <clears throat> it does not require you to buy a uh, a laptop cooler even though I have one but uh, it does not work so don't waste your money uh, and also I don't I do not have to open up my MacBook to install thermal paste and renew the thermal paste and put in thermal pads so I can use the unibody the aluminum unibody as a heat sink don't need to do all that and destroy your warranty on your on your MacBook so all right I have flipped the camera and this is what I bought from Target I bought the Holmes personal fan four inch blade rechargeable uh, the unique thing about this uh, personal fan is that when, when you have it plugged in with USB, uh, the it is quieter and it also spins slower. Uh, the air, you really don't hear it. It's it's does not produce a lot of noise, so it's ideal for a, a like a recording studio space um, where you don't have any bleed into your into your microphone as you're tracking and things of that nature so i uh, uh, really uh, really really approve of it um give you some more information if you want to buy it on amazon or something like that so this is uh the company that is the upc uh it is called the homes personal fan so this is what it looks like so basically my solution is i just have it plugged in and it's blowing across the exhaust fans of the MacBook Pro. Um, if I did not mention, this is a MacBook Pro, um, I, MacBook Pro 16 i9 with 32 gigs of RAM, and I believe that it has a, a 5300 GPU. And basically, it just blows across the exhaust fans. I've big. also used the same fan on my UAD. Uh, Apollo unit and uh, on a UAD Apollo unit and with on the UAD Apollo unit I also have a fan as well because it gets pretty warm also um, and you know I just want to protect my investments so uh, that's my solution just blow the fan across the exhaust of your MacBook Pro and it will keep it cool and that is my RPM 2000 you know, usually it's at 5,600 and, and I'm not doing anything, but it'll be at 5,600. It's been at 2,000 ever since I put that exhaust fan, uh, that fan blowing across the exhaust. Simple as that. I also have a, a digital anemometer. 
So I can kind of show you guys. Uh, let's see, function. I'm an engineer, by the way, so I, I have little gadgets like this because I love data. <laughs> so, so okay, so we can see that we are we have a about 3.6 cubic meters per second of airflow here. Um, at this point, right across, we're at about 2.2 cubic meters per second. And by the time it gets to the air gets to the end of the MacBook Pro, we are sitting about 1.43. And that's just enough, just enough air to allow the heat to get away from your MacBook Pro 